Ooh, come on, guys. King back, king back, Donald Trump and Elon. Ooh, that's like Vegeta and Goku coming together and creating. Come on, man. Vegito and all that other stuff. Let's get it, man. Super Saiyan fusion. All right, now Donald Trump is considering tapping billionaire Elon Musk as a policy advisor if he reclaims the White House in November's election. This, according to a Wall Street Journal report. According to the journal, although Trump has not finalized the specifics, the two have been in discussions over how Musk may provide formal input on matters like the border, the economy, and stopping voting fraud. Initial IC relationship has been thawing recently between the social media platform ex owner and Trump, the former president. Why are they mad, man? They mad because they styling on him. If Trump wants to have Elon in that capacity, who greater than Elon? Now, look, I'm not, I'm not voting. I'm not saying it's Trump or Biden. Look, I don't care, man. Those guys are gonna fight it out. We're gonna see what the American people are gonna say. But it sounds like they got a little hater rate going on. They a little bit jelly. So I don't know. I'm not too sure. Let's continue. They, out there in India, they feeling some type of way. For president who was once banned from the social media site. The report says that Musk is now in direct phone contact with Trump and that the pair talk several times a month. The Wall Street Journal reported that after Trump scored victories on Super Tuesday and became the presumptive Republican nominee, Musk had a meeting with the former president at Mar-a-Lago. The Wall Street Journal also said that Musk informed Trump about his ongoing influence campaign, which is aimed at convincing powerful U.S. business leaders not to support Democratic President Joe Biden. Musk has publicly opposed Biden and previously stated he would not provide money to any candidate. Stop, your st stop, the, stop the nonsense, lady. Now, Elon Musk said he's not supporting anybody and no specific candidate. The last time I checked, all right? So he didn't denounce Biden and all this other nonsense. But come on, she be in the waste mind. She's just trying to create conflict where there is none, okay? She mad because Trump calling on the big homie Elon Musk. But as far as the economic advisor goes, I think that would be a great person to call for Biden or Trump. If Biden want to call Elon Jack, I'm pretty sure Elon would answer. <laughs> Shoot. Elon never hosted, to my knowledge, a space with Donald Trump on X, formerly known as Twitter. But Elon hosted a space on X for Democrats, like other candidates outside of Biden. I mean, he didn't go against Biden. I don't think Biden would show up or anything like that. But net, net, he held it for a Democrat. I didn't see no spaces Elon held for Republicans. So it's not even like that. Elon's not even like that. I think he's just going to be good to good people. And then that's just the end of it. So if somebody want to hit his jack and utilize him as an economic advisor, why not? We know that Elon Musk has proven his ability to allocate capital usefully. And so one of the things that people tend to say the government cannot do is allocate capital properly for a return for investment. Elon has proven his capacity to not only reduce expenses, in his own company, Tesla and SpaceX, and innovate at the same time, but also allocate capital wisely. So whether it's Biden or Trump calling them up on the phone, I think it would be smart for any president to do that. That's my opinion. The United States, former President Donald Trump is reportedly considering tapping billionaire Elon Musk to join his team if the Republican is elected in November. Both Donald Trump and Musk have been in touch with each other since the Republican Party's presumptive presidential candidate launched his 2024 campaign. In fact, reports suggest that the Republican has offered Musk the role of a policy advisor in a Trump administration. The ex-president says he's impressed by Musk's work ethic and would like his input on America's economic and border policies. Now, as jury deliberations continue in the former president's hush money trial, Donald Trump continues his verbal attacks on President Biden. The former president accused President Biden of a political witch hunt saying, yeah, well, everybody, everybody throwing dirt on each other. That ain't nothing new. Tell me something new. All right. Mother Teresa couldn't beat the charges. <laughs> Biden, reach out to Elon. He's a Democrat. He's more center left than he is center right.
like per Elon, not per me, O two O. So it's 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 quite funny. Now maybe Donald Trump or let's say his circle didn't mind hitting up the celly, hitting them on a hotline bling, the Elon bling. But if Biden wants to do that, then it's completely fine. The last time I checked, it was Elon actually opening up spaces with Democrats, people who are running for campaign. So let's see what he's talking about now. It's just border management. And Musk has repeatedly accused President Biden of allowing illegal immigrants into the country without providing any evidence to back these accusations. In recent years, Musk has been growing pretty sure the border is evidence closer to the grand old party and to Donald Trump himself. In fact, Musk and Donald Trump met in March at the former. That's the evidence. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the evidence right there. <laughs> people pulling up. What do you mean? You ain't, you ain't show evidence. We letting people in the country. People in the country, maybe Texas, needed to stand down because they were protecting their deport the border as a state versus the federal legislations and rules and regulations. Yeah, Texas took a stand. Shout out to Texas. Texas said, yo, we got it. Then Biden told him to stand down. So that was that probably. But again, this is Elon's personal life. It's relevant to me. He's a CEO. Then he's, he's also a human. And I said this in the comment section to somebody who was speaking about this. But guys, Elon's his own man, just like any of you guys, just as an employee, you would like to be respected for your personal and political opinions. So is Elon as a CEO. And I don't believe in the narrative that if you're a CEO, you don't have any political opinions. You need to shut up. You need to love your wife and kiss her every day and kiss the kids. And if you don't do it by eight o'clock PM, then you're a sucker for CEO and you shouldn't lead a company, even though it's the best selling car, even though you turn the profits from 2.5 billion loss to a 15.5 billion profit. Doesn't matter if you took it from 250K cars produced annually to 1.8 million produced annually. If you took the stock in the company in the market cap for $55 billion to $650 billion, all that is irrelevant because you have a voice outside of being a CEO. You have a personal life outside of being a CEO. You have other companies outside of this company. Would you like if the employer told you you couldn't open any other companies? You had to only work for them? No, you wouldn't like it. Would you like if the company told you what you could or couldn't say? You guys complain about it all day on the internet. So don't get the policing of Elon when he allegedly is asked about being this advisor role. I don't even know if this is real. What's your evidence of that? Well, I heard through the grapevine, you a grown man reporting news to the whole entire nation. And you up here talking about some, he said, she said, I heard that somebody had said what somebody had heard on the back end. How did you get this information? Morris Cole? Come on, B. Trump met in March at the former president's Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. And it was at that meeting where Musk informed Trump about his ongoing campaign to influence American entrepreneurs and business leaders to vote against President Biden. Now, Elon Musk was, in fact, a longtime supporter of the Democratic Party and openly backed former President Barack Obama. Where's that? Where's that proof at? Show proof, clown. Obama in 2008 and 2012 and even President Biden in 2020. However, things changed in 2021 when the Tesla CEO had a major falling out with the Biden administration after not being invited to the White House for a summit hosting America's top EV manufacturers. The billionaire entrepreneur now openly backs the Republican Party. And in a race that's expected to have a razor thin finish, one has to wonder, does Elon Musk support or hurt Trump's chances in November? Bro, anybody still listening to media? especially mainstream media where a grown man can sit and talk to the nation and talk about he say she say and have little to no evidence guys <laughs> what is that guy doing man he's a waste man i thought that they were supposed to be the curators of what's right the fact checker the reality checker mine one two one two propagandist if i ever seen one again let me show you the eyes of a propagandist Propagandist one. 
He looked like the minister of propaganda, don't he, man? You know I work. You know I work for the Democrats. You know. You know I be eating catfish, Kool-Aid, watermelon. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come on, man, dog. Why you being a waste, man? You don't know what Elon does. I don't even, like, he said he's not going to support anybody, at least with political contributions, all right? As you said, he's a Democrat, but you ain't had that smoke for him when he was a Democrat, did you? I see what the folks are talking about. It's better because both of them love America. Yeah, that would be nice, bro. As long as you love America, then let's get it. If you don't, I can't rock with you. Elon Musk has shown up interesting and protected South and North West Eastern borders. Shout outs to Elon. So Elon, like I said, he has a personal life, man. Let that man live. That man want to go out and gauge in politics. Hey, look, that's that's his life. I'm not going to sit up here as a shareholder and be like, man, you better shut up. You better you better work at Tesla and then go home and shut up. <laughs> like, I'm not like that, bro. I don't think I own man. So right? I know y'all be thinking y'all own people when y'all put your money in the company and he's the CEO, but I don't own the CEO. I don't own the employees. So you know what I'm saying? In this country, new way to make po polit politic, politic business expertise, it not government. What in the, it not government, a business of running a nation in order to make the citizens well off. Man, bro, he need to calm down. Whoever wrote this was emotional. Wealth government can provide development in our, that what we don't want. Man, bro, get up out of here. <laughs> I can't read I can't read these people's comments, bro. They be talking nonsense. Ain't at the art, bro. Look, let Elon be Elon. At the end of the day, he can vote for Biden, vote for Trump. It's irrelevant. Like, he's the CEO. Are we still hitting benchmark performance? Yes. Is the company still doing bit good? Yeah. So this is what I say to the haters. Let me just show you. Because I, I think sometimes you guys are right. You're right. You're right. This is going to be, this is, this is a problem, guys. This is a big problem. You're right. This is a problem. That's a, that's the problem. You're right. You're right. You're right. He took, a, he took a company from $1. <laughs> You're right. He took a company from $1.30 in 2010 to its max height of 407 to today's price. 174. You're right, though. You're right, though. 13,500%. That ain't nothing, man. That ain't nothing. I sniff glue, so I'm more important. Come on, guys. Y'all can go back and forth. Shout outs to Elon. Thank you for doing a great job. That's all that matters to me. And all the cars that are produced and the jobs in the factories. I guess y'all don't care about that neither. But it is what it is. I'm going to end this one. I see you guys on the next one because I got to have some short videos. When I got the long videos, y'all be angry. Y'all be logging off within two seconds. And please see me in the chats, bro. I'm down there. I'm active. I'm in the battlefield. Y'all want that smack? You want the smoke? Then come to the chats. I got live streams sometimes, but y'all don't show up. So show up to the chats. It's completely fine. And of course, it's all in fun and games. Freedom of speech. I'm completely fine with any perspective, guys. If you dislike them, if you hate Tesla, if you hate like Tesla, hate Elon, it's irrelevant. It's conversation. Everybody has their opinion. Shout outs to everybody that's sharing them. I greatly appreciate it. And at the end of the day, you guys don't want to smoke. So just come in peace on some alien stuff, okay? We come in the name of peace. Everyone, love.